Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. In this video, we will learn how to create e-invoice by using API and also the manual way of generating it. Before generating e-invoice, you would first have to purchase the API from Logic. Go to logicerp.com and sign in with your username and password. Now go to Manage API. You can select any plan as per your requirement. Then click on Activate API. Now you will have to buy credits. Select the plan that you want to buy. And click on Save Order. Your order will be placed with us. Now go to the Payment Portal. Fill in the billing address and complete your payment. As soon as you complete your payment, the API key will be activated. Copy the key to use it for configuring it in the software. The next step is to register your GST IN through GST Suvidha provider. Go to the government portal website goods and services tax e invoice login enter the required details and log in to your account click on api registration user credentials then create api user enter the otp sent to your registered mobile number Select your GSP as Chartered Information Systems Private Limited. Then create a username and password. After clicking on Submit, you will be registered for API interface. Let us now configure the API in Logic. In the main menu, go to Reports and Queries, Sale Reports, and then GST Reports. Click on Configuration and go to EEWA Settings. Make sure both of these options are ticked. Then go to Other Settings. Fill in the username and password that you created while registering through GSP in the last two columns. Enter your GST Portal User ID here. Then enter your Logic User ID and password. Enter the API key that you activated in the first step. Enter the trade name and legal name of your firm. Again enter the username and password that you created while registering through GSP here. Now go to GST EE Invoice tab. Here we will set the values in all of the columns. Carefully look at the settings of each of these values. Says columns have not been defined here. You can define the values as per your requirement. Kindly pause the video wherever required to note down the settings of each value. Let us look at the last step before generating e-invoice. Go to set up new account. Search that party, the e-invoice of whose bill you are going to generate. Go to other details. The fields marked in red are mandatory fields. 
This means that the E invoice will not be generated if any of these fields have not been defined. So first country, first state, first city, address 1, 2, 3, in code, contact number, sale nature, GST registration type, GST number, GST state, state code, PAN number, and email address should be defined. Also make sure that you have entered the GST number of your company here in case of no branch system. But in case you have branching system, then go to setup branches and enter the GST number of the branch from where you have to generate e-invoice. Also enter all other details. After all the settings have been done, we will now generate an e-invoice. In the main menu, go to Reports and Queries, Sale Reports, GST Reports, then generate GST e-invoice. Select the document type from the drop-down list. Then select the document from the search list. Sale bill has been selected. Now click on Refresh. Finally, generate the e invoice. So just with two clicks, e invoice has been generated. Click on Cancel Invoice if you want to cancel any generated invoice. Click on Get Invoice Details to fetch any missing details from the GST portal. The Export button enables you to export the data in an Excel sheet, which can be used to check any mismatch data. Now let us look at the manual way of e-invoice generation. In the main menu, go to Reports and Queries, Sale Reports, GST Reports, then generate GST e invoice. Select the document type from the drop down list. Then select the document from the search list. Sale bill has been selected. Click on Refresh. Then, click on Prepare JSON. JSON file has been created at the path displayed here. Let us go to the displayed path of JSON file. Here it is. Now go to the government portal website, Goods and Service Tax e-invoice login. Enter the required details and login to your account. Click on e-invoice and go to bulk upload. Browse the JSON file that we just created. Then click on upload. Invoice has been successfully uploaded. You can now download signed JSON, Excel or print PDF files according to your needs. Here we have downloaded the Excel file. Let us also download print PDF file.
Now you can either copy the acknowledgement number or IRN to take a print out of the invoice. We will do it with acknowledgement number. This is the IRN. You can also use this instead of acknowledgement number. Click on the home button and go to e-invoice. Now click on print. Use any number as per your choice to take a print out. This is the print preview. Click on print to print the invoice. Right click on the QR code of the invoice and click on save image as. QR code has been saved. Now go to allocate GST e invoice number to voucher. Select the bill against which the invoice was generated. Then click on refresh. You can enter the details manually here. Or you can also retrieve them directly from the Excel file that we downloaded. Let us enter the details manually. Copy the acknowledgement number from the Excel sheet and paste it in the appropriate column. Type the acknowledgement date manually. Copy and paste the IR number as well. Don't forget to save the details. Click on Attach QR Image. Browse the QR image that we had saved earlier. QR code has been attached with the voucher. Save the details once again. Let us finally look at the printing of bill in the software. You can see the QR code that we attached with the bill. You can also see the acknowledgement number, date and IR number that we had allocated. Let us go to the design of this printing. These are the fields of each of the three details. The configuration for QR image is as displayed here. Thank you for watching this video. For more software related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.